in this video, I want to show you a new Linux distribution, which aims to be a real alternative for Windows 11 users who want to move to Linux but want a similar experience. My name is Jean from Linux Ort, and um, today I'm gonna presenting you Android OS, a very neat looking Linux distribution based on Ubuntu. We have a very Windows 11 similar taskbar. We have our weather on the left bottom corner here. We have our menu, which is very Windows 11 like. We have our open applications and we could also um, have some favorites here, of course. And on the right side, we have keyboard settings, our system monitor settings, and also something notification and date related. Also we have in the very end this minimize uh, button we also know from Windows and also a Linux Mint does have it since many versions. This should be a very familiar experience for Windows 11 users and I would say yeah this isn't the first Linux distribution which aims to be such a way but I would say this is a distribution I would recommend because the licenses are okay. They're there are not any robbed background images, icons and so on. This is all free and open source software completely like it should be and there is no big commercial aspect behind it. But at the current point it is a project of a sole maintainer, only eight to nine other people committed to this distribution. So this is kind of new and it is based at the current time on Ubuntu 25.5, the newer version, but you could also use the LTS version which is uh, using Ubuntu 24.4 as a base and um, this I would recommend for using as a daily basis and as a very default operating system if you want to experience with Linux if you want to have a look in it what is possible maybe if you just want to develop I would say also for developers the 1.3 version will be quite fine for all kind of normal users I would recommend the 1.1 LTS version and yeah what could you do with it? Let's have a look what they are saying about themselves. Um, it's completely ready to use. Yeah, this is also very cool. The ISO file with which you create your USB stick, for example, is only two gigabytes big. Um, that's um, kind of small compared to Ubuntu, uh, which is um, about four gigabytes big now. We have a um, very yeah kind of familiar GNOME interface. Yeah, of course, we have a separate desktop feeling, but at the rest, we have um, the very basic GNOME apps how you for example know it already from Fedora or Ubuntu also has uh, this application set by default. And so if you ever used Ubuntu for example it's the same file manager. Also some other applications sometimes. For example if I go to all apps here then we see your yeah, all apps which come pre-installed with our uh, Android OS. Quite funny we don't see any library office office suite here but we see chess in here. <laughs> but at least it is better than Candy Crush for example. Let us move down. For example we see some network tools which is a yeah, kind of new app at least for distributions where this app comes pre-installed. Of course this app is already a bit older but yeah it's great to get a very quick overview about different networking conditions and this is just a graphical user interface. Maybe this is the graphical user interface some people are missing which are moving from Windows to Linux so this could be also a good starting point but also for example if you if it comes to the calculator we have calculate with a Q here because it's uh, the cute version of this calculator which is much more capable of than a very simple calculator. Also very cool I would say yeah the um, developer behind it just took the Ubuntu base and built this Linux in a kind of new and a fresh way which no old Linux user would have made it and this makes this distribution such interesting and in the end beside that we have a very basic basic GNOME application setup, for example also screenshots. It's, it's the old screenshot tool, not the new one of GNOME, but um, yeah we have a well suited minimalistic um, desktop with all applications you need but not too 
many um, to be honest i am missing for example the library office suite but of course you can install your office suite via the software manager for example let me search for it and the very cool thing is okay we could uh, go with the dev packages but we get also flat packs inside here so let me have a look for library office here we have a uh, diversion from the flat hub um, because um, the snap uh, store is disabled at this Android OS and uh, it is prepared for running flat packs just by yeah, pre-installed uh, flat pack but also the uh, libfuse packages which makes it very easy from the beginning to run app images this is kind of the new portable Linux format uh, which also yeah is already around for about 10 years I would say but this also comes prepared for app images which makes it um, kind of even in that point um, for example to Manjaro or to a Linux Mint which are also both great distributions honestly if a new person comes to me and wants to get started into the Linux space I'm very often recommending Linux Mint because I would say it's such a great complete ready to use batteries included package and this is what Anduin OS is not delivering but it is delivering a slightly better Ubuntu version I would say it is very compatible to the Ubuntu um, family of course as Linux Mint but it goes more the Windows approach in terms of yeah usability feeling also something like this and this makes it really interesting for newcomers which are still using Windows and want to get in touch finally with the Linux world so I would say this is a great distribution because also again also on the licensing side everything looks good and the very funny thing is that Anduin OS is from a Microsoft employee who is making Anduin OS in his free time and I would say in the end this is a very cool option if you want to start into the Linux world if you want to get a yeah, kind of fresh experience um, but also kind of familiar experience then Anduin OS is a great choice I would say but again it is kind of new we only have the version 1.3 now and uh, also yeah there is at the moment only a sole maintainer but if it comes to security updates and so on it's just getting his updates of ubuntu so this is not a problem my guess is that if the maintainer keeps continuing Android os Android os could get something very very big in the future and it could be a very great alternative to Ubuntu, to Linux Mint, to Pop OS, for example. Just a very basic Ubuntu distribution, but very good developed and also in a very great state, I would say, at the moment. Let me just come to some other things I uh, found as a problem. One thing you have to be aware of is um, the file manager. <laughs> it is the basic file manager of, for example, Ubuntu. And I don't like this file manager too much. This is Nautilus the default um, file manager of GNOME. For me, it hasn't the functionality I'm expecting from a file manager. For example, if it uh, compares to the Nemo file manager, this is the file manager of the Cinnamon desktop or Linux Mint. This file manager, for example, I'm missing a two list mode or two pane mode here, extra pane mode, something like this. This isn't supported by the Nautilus file manager at all. Because of that, I yeah, am not a big fan of it. But if you are already used to the file manager in Ubuntu, or in Fedora for example, Fedora GNOME to be um, exact, um, then yeah this is the same file manager and then this is okay for you. Also some minor issue, I'm running this in a virtual machine now and if it comes to the VirtualBox guest editions, they are not automatically executed in any way or um, very easily accessed. You have to go into, into the terminal and run the executable uh, manually um, this is only also a minor issue but I just want Wanted to inform you about this. Also another thing you have to be aware of it um, is the menu. So if I have a smaller screen space like you see it here and then I open up the menu then you see the menu isn't working properly anymore so just be aware of that but I would say most of you will have a big uh, screen like this here and then this is no problem of course. Also 
Honestly, I'm not a big fan of this dark theme here, but there is a very quick option to get this to a um, bright theme. Um, and for that, we have to open up our settings menu, go to appearance, and then we just select the default style here. But yeah, of course you could um, change it the way you like. One thing you have to keep aware of is that Firefox has a special um, default setting as you see it here. If we have a look, for example, at at some website we have a small sidebar on the left side here which is enabled by default but you could of course uh, disable this also one thing i'm also expecting from many other distributions right now is that app images are working better by default in our system and for example i have an app image here and if i have downloaded it just then i um, have to right click it go to properties and then um, hit the executable as program flag because otherwise um, it just wants to open this app image with disk image mounter. This isn't too wrong to be honest because it is a kind of a, a few system here but it, honestly we just want to run this application and this doesn't help us in a practical basis so you have to tick this executable as a program um, option here in the properties here and then if we just double click it and then we see okay here is our next cloud window and we could start using our app image for example also there isn't any automatic option to um, add this into our menu and so on um, there are great applications out there which are capable of it and honestly i would be very pleased if many distributions out there just bring such um, similar functionality inside and their distribution this app is called gear lever very easy app image manager and um, also very easy to just yeah install move something to the app menu and so on so yeah if you are dealing with app images a lot then i could recommend you gear lever you could just install it um inside your software manager of course yeah, and this is it to app images, but um, what's, what's a good point that libfuse is already pre-installed, so you don't have to install something else to get app images running. These were all notes I had problems with, and yeah, this was it for my yeah quick review of Android OS. What are you thinking about Android OS? Some people might say, yeah, it's just another yeah um, Ubuntu clone, and it doesn't do anything new in particular. I would say, of course, it's another Ubuntu derivate, but it's doing its things really, really good and uh, could be very attractive for new Linux users which are switching from Windows to our Linux world. This could be a great start, in my opinion, especially if you are a developer or something like this, then this is a great distribution to just start right away with it. If you just want to get a batteries included package with almost everything handled, automatically a um, more integrated better integrated maybe a bit more major in overall um, then i highly recommend you just looking to linux mint this is um, the linux distribution which is very beginner friendly and has done a lot more of course um, because um, yeah linux mint is um, already uh, about 20 years old <laughs> uh, this is very crazy how old it is um, already um, and android os is maybe one year old something like this so in my eyes android os it could have a great times but this is depending on us what are you thinking about this just write it me into the comments and if you are new to linux then this could be a great distribution um, just to get your head into it and give it a try for example in a virtual machine or of course also in dual boot or installed on another computer just to have a look around and it's a great package, I would say. This was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel because every week we are releasing new stuff about Linux and open source. In the end, see you next time. Bye bye.